this video i am going to teach you how to write the electron configuration of chromium and copper so let us first write the electron configuration of uh, chromium you know that chromium is an element whose atomic number is 24 atomic number is 24 means it has 24 electrons now we have to distribute these electrons to various subshell or orbital so let us write so to write electron configuration you at first you need to memorize a sequence let's say with me ss right okay just uh, write in difference ss ps ps just you have to say ss then ps ps then d P S D P S right then we have a D P S and thus continue right so look S S P S P S D P S D P S so P S P S two two times D P S D P S two times and F D P S you can take any times so now distribute these 24 electrons you know that s subshell can take maximum two right and p subshell can take maximum six and d subshell can hold maximum 10 and f subshell can hold maximum 14 that is in s subshell you have one orbital and p subshell has three orbital every orbital can take maximum two d subshell has uh, five orbital and f subshell has uh, seven orbitals however that is another things so let us distribute these 24 electrons so s can take maximum two so two two that is four then six 10 then 2 12 12 plus 6 12 plus 6 what will happen look 12 plus 6 12 plus 6 that is 18 then 2 20 20 then you have 24 right so here 4 right so already we have distributed these 24 electrons uh, for chromium now we have to place uh, the value of principal quantum number that is the s subshell start with 1s then 2s it will continue like this p subshell start with twice p 3p 4p and this will continue and D sub cell start with 3D, then 4D, 5D, and this will continue. And F sub cell continue with 4F, 5F, right? 6F, and this will continue. So at first we'll place uh, we'll place one then 2 then we have to search for s then 3s then here 4s right so we don't have any s right we don't need this subshell right already we have uh, used all the electrons then we'll place a uh, principal quantum number for p that p start with twice p then 3p there is no p then we'll place the value of principal quantum number for d that is d start with 3d 3d right so look here the value of principal uh, highest value of principal quantum number n equal to 4 look here 4s then 3d 4s is the highest value for principal quantum number look s orbital here s subshell has two 
and D subshell has 4. You know that D subshell can take maximum 10, but half of 10 equal to 5. That is, uh, we need stability, right? This field D subshell is stable and the half field half field subshell is also stable so look since the d has four so to gain stability right so to gain stability it will take one electron from the from the outermost cell so here outermost cell n equal to 4s a n uh, outermost cell is 4s uh, 4 so one electron will take from this 4s subshell so here i have to place one and here i have to ha add one that is i am getting here five and ha here i am getting one right so instead of being 4s2 and 3d4 where we have to write the electron configuration for chromium is this right since uh, half field d orbital or d subshell uh, is stable now we'll write the electron configuration for chromium so let us write for copper right so let us write for copper we have 29 here so we have to write that uh, situation ss ps ps then dps dps then fd fdps fdps right so we have 29 electrons so let us distribute that so 2 2 4 6 10 2 12 plus 6 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 9 29 so we have uh, distributes all the 29 electrons for copper right so now we have to number the s subcell that is s subcell start with 1 1 s then 2 s then 3 s then 4 s there are no, no s right then we'll place number before p subshell p subshell start with twice p so right here 2p then 3p there is no p then we'll place number before d subshell d subshell start with 3d so 3d here 3d right so look this should be the electron configuration of copper but this is not the electron configuration we know that d orbit d subshell can take maximum 10 right and after taking 10 it will be stable so here d has nine electrons so easily it will take one electron from the outermost shell here outermost shell is is four right that is four s uh, from 4s it will take 1 so borrow 1 and add here 1 that is you are getting here 10 which is stable configuration and half fill s orbital is also stable so this is the uh, electron configuration of copper and this is the chromium i think this is one of the best video you have watched uh, to write the electron configuration of copper and chromium. Thanks for viewing this video. Be well.